Hey, it's Aiden here from Clarence Boutique. Um, long time no see. I actually haven't posted for a month, and, um, now I finally am. Um, I apologize for the, um, um, break or whatever. I just needed to take a break, okay? So, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Lumi Gurumi flower in a pot, um, which is designed by me, um, you don't even have to make this a flower, you can actually uh, make it like a cactus or whatever if you want, um, but I'm going to be showing you how to make a flower, you can, if you really want to make a cactus or like another plant to put in your pot, um, then, um, figure, um, you can like figure it out on yourself, um, by yourself, it's really not that hard, but anyways, um, so here it is, um, and I also put like, um, soil in it so it's like more realistic and i love it a lot okay so i think that that is it okay okay so um the things that you are going to be needing are um you, you don't even need to make a face but honestly i think that it's cuter with a face i just used um two beads um for the cheeks i used two pink and i hot glued um a black band and i cut it and yeah um, so I'm going to be using, um, for the colors, instead of this caramel brown, I'm going to be using, um, um, light beige. And for the dirt, I'm going to be using cocoa brown. And for, um, the flower, I'm going to be using the, the stem, I'm going to be using the same, um, green. And for the flower, I'm going to be using these two colors. And I'm currently, like, sick right now, so just bear with me. I just randomly picked these colors because I just wanted to get a tutorial out for you guys, okay? So, I'm also going to be using, um... A stitch marker. And a hook. Okay. So, I think that that is it, and let's get started. Um, I'm not going to be really showing you, how, like, the basics of Lumigurumi. I actually, if you want to pick, if you scroll through my channel, um, um, I make detailed, more detailed things. I mean, <laughs> um, I, like, show you how to do, like, the Lumigurumi basics more in detail, okay? So, I'm going to be starting with the pot color. Okay. So, there's like a hair. There's like hair everywhere. Um, so, I'm going to be grabbing my hook. And yes, I know I do need to cut my nails, but they just grow by. They just grow so fast. And I just. I didn't feel like doing it right now. So, yeah. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to be grabbing a band. I'm going to do be doing a triple cap band, so wrap it around my hook. One, two, and three times. I'm going to grab another band, put on my hook like that, and pull um, these this triple cap band onto here. So, okay, like that, and then I'm going to reclaim it. Okay, so it looks like this, and I'm going to pull um, this front one over the back one. Like that. Okay, then if you turn it sideways, you can um, pretty much the, um, these like three loops. I'm going to hold my hook like this, and I'm going to go into those three loops. Okay, so there's three loops on my hook, and there's a space here, and then there's, like, an, like the band from before. Okay, I'm gonna grab another band, and I'm gonna put, um, six stitches in this cap band. So I'm gonna grab another band, this is gonna be my second one, pull it through these three. Don't pull it through this one right here. Reclaim. Then I'm gonna pull, um... 
Jeez, I haven't done this in like a long time. Uh, I'm gonna pull um this front one over these two. Yeah. Like that. So that was um two stitches. I'm gonna go back in that three hat band like we did before. Got three loops. And I'm just gonna keep doing what we did before. So pull it through, reclaim, pull this front one over these two. So that was three. Okay, go back in to do the fourth. Okay, back in again, do the sixth, I mean the fifth. And go back in again and do the sixth. So it pretty much looks like this now. Okay. Looks like this. This band is still on your hook. Okay. So I should have six six stitches, so I'm gonna count. And this looks like a stitch, but it's actually just the slip knot to the stitch. So skip that, count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So, instead of putting my stitch marker here, I like to go in the first stitch and do it first. So, I'm gonna... You see this, like, V right here, the first stitch? I'm gonna go into those two loops. And... Um... I have to check something real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna go into those two loops and I'm gonna make a stitch. Like that. Pull this one over these two. Then I'm gonna grab my stitch marker, which you can use like a C clip. But I'm actually using like one that I got from Amazon. Um I'm gonna put it on my first band. Okay. So I'm gonna do um, increases all around, and an increase is doing two stitches and one stitch. So I already made one right there, so I'm gonna go back into that stitch and do another one. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the next one and do two. So one, two. And if you also decide to make this, make sure to, um, tag me or, um, share on Instagram, or, sorry, if you uh, make this, uh, make sure to tag me on Instagram, if you share it. Um, it's at Clonism Teak. It will be in the description of this video. So just two until we get to the stitch marker. Jeez, I haven't done this in like a month and I'm like already like forgetting how to do this. Maybe just like the bands that I'm using. Cause I'm usually like more gentle while doing this. Okay, so I'm at the last one. I'm just gonna do two more to complete our row of increases. The pattern will also be in the description, if you're wondering. Okay. But I'm only gonna, like, tell you how to make it the pot base, because it's just, it's too difficult to share with you how to actually make, like, the flower on, like, a pattern. I'm not really the best at explaining things, okay? So I'm back at my stitch marker, okay? And I'm gonna go, on this rubber, I'm gonna do singles all around, but I'm going to um, go into the front loop. So I'm back at the stitch with my stitch marker. I'm gonna go through only one loop of that. And I'm gonna make a stitch. Okay, then I'm going to take my stitch marker off and replace it. Okay, the reason why we're doing, um, um, going in the front loop 
because flower pots are like flat, I mean, you know, flat on the bottom and it creates that nice flat look so it can stand up, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way around. Gonna go into the next stitch. Front loops only. I mean, you don't have to go into the front loop, but I don't really know how it will look. It probably won't like, look as nice or realistic either. Well, I'm actually kind of dizzy because I am sick, like I mentioned. I heard that I've been gone for a month. Um, it just, it was a well-deserved break because I was just like, I really didn't feel like looming or designing um, things. Because I was like, honestly, like really tired. Like, honestly, sometimes I do that, like, I remember, like, when I, like, I took, like, an eight-month break from looming, because I was just, I was, like, so down, I was, like, Ugh, I really don't want to do this anymore, but then I got back in March, and that's when I created my channel, and it was just, like, really cool, honestly. And now I've, like, reached, like, 100 subscribers, which is, like, amazing. I didn't really realize that I would reach that much, so thank you. Okay, I'm back at the stitch marker. Okay, and I'm, again, I'm gonna do singles all the way around, but I'm not gonna go into the, only the front loop, I'm gonna go into the whole stitch, okay? I'm gonna get my stitch marker off and put it on here, and I'm gonna do singles all the way around, and, and, and you can see how it's, like, flat on the bottom now, because you went through the, <laughs> how you went through the, um, front loops only. So, again, going through the next stitch. Whole entire stitch. If you just heard that, that was my stomach. I, ugh, I'm like, I'm really not feeling well. I just really wanted to film this today. Because no one was in the house. And there will be no background noises. <laughs> okay. So this is just one row around. You actually want to do five. So after this row, you want to do four. So just five rows, single, okay? So this is the first row. I'll tell you when I'm back at the stitch marker because I don't want to confuse anybody. And also, if you have any, like, um, recommendations on what I should make next, please tell me below in the comments, because, like, no one's, like, really saying, like, what they want me to make next. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do have, like, a whole notebook of things. Okay, so I'm back at the stitch marker, and I'm gonna go into the stitch with the stitch marker on it. And I'm gonna make a stitch. Then I'm gonna put it back on my hook. So that was one row. You wanna do four more. So in total, you did five rows, okay? So I did one row with you. Oops. Um, I did one row with you. And you wanna do four, okay? So in total, there would be five rows, okay? So this is how it is right now. So I'm gonna come back to you, because. I really don't want this to be long because then it's going to take forever to upload and I really don't want that. So yeah, come back to me when you've done four more rows single. Okay, so this is actually my fault. So hopefully you actually didn't um, pause the video yet. You were doing your four more rows, but you actually want to do four rows in total. So sorry about that. Um, I don't actually have this like written down yet. I'm honestly... <coughs> Um, I, I don't, like, look at the pattern, I don't look 
like I don't have like the pattern like written down I just say it from my mind like I just like remember like the pattern in my head but that I messed up on so sorry about that so I did four rows in total okay so then um I put my stitch marker back on so after that I'm gonna go into the next stitch I'm gonna grab a beige and pull it through everything reclaim this one and slip knot it tight okay I'm just gonna take off my stitch marker and what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be hanging out I'm gonna go underneath this band right here and just to hide it I'm gonna do this pull it through okay so it's like tucked inside and you won't see that you won't see that um because you put like the soil in, right? So it looks like this. Now, um, so, so I'm just getting notifications. And I just realized that there's like weird stuff right there. This is a new poster board, okay. So I'm starting to think. Instead of going inside, I'm gonna make this like ridge here and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is where we tie it off. So I'm gonna go into the next stitch to like the side like this, like this. Don't go inside like this, just go on the outside like this. Okay, I'm gonna grab a band. This is, if you've done like my Easter basket tutorial, then you know exactly what I'm doing because it's like the same exact ridge for it. Okay, I'm gonna, Pull this band through that stitch, and instead of pulling this one over this, I'm going to go into the next stitch here, get another band, pull it through like that, so there's like four loops, and then I'm going to grab another band and pull it through all those four loops. Hopefully I'm doing that right, I'm not really that sure. Okay then, I'm going to go into the next stitch. I had, like, designed this, like, a while ago, so, yeah, I'm gonna pull it through, grab a band, pull it through these four bands. Like, I designed this, like, a while ago, so, sorry. Okay, so do that all the way around until we get to this one where we first started. So, pull it through, pull it through these four loops. I messed up. <laughs> oh my like, head hurts so much. Uh. Sorry if I'm like not talking, it's just I have, I have like a really bad headache. This was honestly just like the perfect timing. Almost. Because on Instagram I said that I would post it sometimes ne sometime next week. I mean sometime this week, so. Yeah. I'm like really surprised I'm doing this. Like, and I'm sick. Ugh. I just really wanted to pose. Okay. So I'm back on my last stitch. I'm gonna go into the last stitch. Okay. And I'm gonna do this. and pull it through. So it looks like this, okay? Then I'm gonna 
Maybe it wasn't a good idea to do that. Okay, so get this band out again. Like, the tying off band. Get that out again. And I'm gonna gently undo it. Like that. And I'm gonna grab this band and pull it through those two. Reclaim the other side. And pull it tight. Okay. Then I'm gonna tuck it in. Okay. So it looks like this. So to make this like ridge, I basically just flip this. Inside out. Or just like flip it. So it gets like that thing. And it's probably gonna look a little weird, the shape. Just like fix it. But this is the back because, yeah, this is the back because um, the tying off band's there, so this is the front. I remember it like, like looking weird after I did this. So yeah. And I just like, basically just like fixed it. Okay, so I like that shape for my pot. Next, I'm gonna do like the soil inside of it, which it looks really cool. So I'm gonna use the cocoa brown from Rainbow Loom. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna like get this out of the way real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go in here. And you see how there's like this like weird thing right here? I'm gonna, this is kind of hard to explain. I'm gonna go in there and grab those two loops. Am I doing this right? Wait one second. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go in here and grab those two loops. Hopefully you saw that. Then I'm gonna grab a soil band. Like this. Make a stitch. Then I'm just gonna keep doing that around. in here. I don't really remember it being this hard to do, though. I kind of just made a... Okay, and then I'm gonna... These have, like, silicone oil on it, so they're a little bit slippery. And they're harder to work with. And do that until I get back to this tying off band. Hopefully you understood that because oops, um, that kind of looks hard to do. Like I know what like on how to do it, but I like designed it, so like I know like where to go and. So, you know, sorry if that was a difficult part in finding where to go on there, but, oh well. Yeah, these are, like, really slippery. I should have used, like, a different band. I just, like, randomly grabbed them because I just want to get this tutorial filmed real quick.
You may have to look this up. Just ignore it. Just I'm just gonna basically just stuff it in there. Okay. So that's what I did. Okay. So it's gonna look, look like this now. I'm gonna go into the first stitch that I did here. So right here. Like that. And I'm gonna make a stitch. So. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put it on my hook like this. Okay? Get a stitch marker and do that. Okay? So this is where we're gonna do a single decrease. So that was a single, and I'm gonna go into the next stitch, and I'm gonna grab the front and then the back stitch. So that's a decrease. Then I'm gonna go into the next stitch and do a single. <laughs> and I'm not gonna stuff this. Okay, then I'm gonna do a decrease. And then a single. You see how like this is like shiny? That's the silicon oil. Okay, then decrease. Then single. And the last decrease is going to end on the stitch marker, so I'm just going to do a decrease. Like that. Then I'm going to take the stitch marker out. And all the way around, we're gonna do decreases. So I'm not gonna even put the stitch marker in, and I'm just gonna do decreases all around until I can't do any more. So I'm gonna do one decrease. Jeez, my stomach really hurts. I know that I keep saying it, but like it really does. Ugh. Decrease. I feel like my throat is like itchy too. Oops. Decrease. Sorry if you can't see that well, it just decreases all around. We thought this is the third decrease. Okay, and this is gonna be my, my last decrease. Okay, so I have it on like this, I'm gonna grab a band, and I'm gonna pull it through the decrease and also the stitch. Reclaim it and um, slip knot it, pull tight. Okay, so it looks like this. It looks pointy. So what I'm gonna do to make it flat, <coughs> what I'm gonna do to make it flat is I'm gonna go on the bottom of my pot like this. I'm gonna go through this magic ring right here. Okay, like that. All right, then I'm gonna go up here Grab this tail and pull it through. Like that. <laughs> like that. That's almost like too flat. But yeah, like that. So you have a flat pot. This is actually sticking out, so I'm just gonna hide it inside of here. Like that, and your soil is flat. This is, should be poking out. I'm just gonna. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that later. So, so that's gonna be how you, you can just hide it inside. 
like that. Okay. So the soil looks like this. It's really cute. Hee <laughs> hee. So now I'm gonna actually make the plant. And 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 you could have stuffed that if you want to, but honestly, it would be hard to do so when you're making the soil because it's because then you have to go through here and pull it through the stuffing to make it flat. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the flower. Ugh. Ow, my stomach. Okay, I'm gonna make the flower now. Um. So first I'm gonna do the stem. So I have this neon green. Color. If you wanna know what it is, it's the Rainbow Loom. I believe this is like exclusive to Michael's, the Rainbow Loom Jumbled. I have a bucket 8,000 pack in the green top. Um, so I'm just gonna go in the middle of here there's like no specific bands to go through, but I'm just gonna go in like the middle, like right here. Like that. Just grabbing two bands and I'm gonna grab a green band and I'm gonna double loop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double loop it on my hook. I'm gonna pull it through. Why is this being so difficult? Okay. Okay, that's a double loop. So I need to do that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six times. So that was one. Double loop again. Pull it through these four loops. Claim two. Three. Four. I'm struggling with those. Five. And six. Okay. Like that. This soil kind of got up, so I'm just gonna push it down a little. Like that. Adjust it. So now I'm just gonna tie this off with a random band because I'm gonna undo it. Basically, I'm just gonna tie off with a random band. It's not gonna be permanent. Can I just tie it? So not a, like that. Was that six? One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, that was six. Okay. So this is the front. My cat band is like, I mean, the sun is right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the flower. You can choose anything that you want for the flower. So I'm just gonna move this right here so you can see it. So from the inside, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use hmm. I'm gonna use orange. For the outside, I'm gonna use pink. <laughs> I feel like I could have used better colors because I got so many other colors, but I just want to do this pretty fast. Okay. 
So again, I'm just gonna start to make the flower, this part, because we're gonna attach it to this on the back, as you can see. I'm gonna do a magic ring, triple cap band, like that. Then I'm gonna still grab my orange, or your middle part, pull it through those, like that. But take this off for a minute, and grab your other color, and wrap it around your hook twice. Like that, and pull it on. Okay. I think that's how you do it. I may have done it a different way. But we'll see. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab another pink band. Again. Go. I don't know, it came undone. Stand by. Okay. This keeps coming undone, ah. I'm just gonna do this real quick again. Because for some reason it keeps coming undone. Oh my god. I'm having a great time right now. Uh, okay. So I, I have it like that. I'm gonna grab a pink one. Or my... Um, flower petal. I'm gonna go through those three loops of the capping band. I'm gonna grab an orange for the inside. I'm gonna make a stitch put through there. Then I'm gonna grab this petal band, pull it through there, and then pull this one over there. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab another petal, wrap it twice, go back in, and I'm gonna do this five times, so that was two, then... Three... And then... Four... And lastly, five, okay. So it looks like this. A little bit messy, but oh well. Then I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in this first loop, like that. Then I'm gonna grab my pot, go through all those four loops on the stem, I'll take this slip knot And off because we don't need it anymore. Then go through the other side on the fourth one. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab a green band and pull it through everything. So it looks like that. Then a slip knot. Okay. I'm not gonna do it that tight, then I'm gonna grab this band and pull it over the flower. I may have to adjust the flower a bit because the petals are like done. But yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I just like adjusted it a bit. So it looks like that. This kind of looks better, but oh well. Okay. I don't really like the color of the flower, but whatever. Okay, so. Look at this. So to make this like little like leaf or whatever, I'm gonna go on the third one. So one, two, three. The th third one, I'm gonna double loop. That was for real. Then slip knot it. And pull tight. So yeah, that's the how uh, yeah, how you do that. This doesn't really look the best, but maybe it's just because of the color I did for the flower. Okay, so now I'm going to so it looks like this right now. So now I'm gonna do the face. I'm not gonna show you how to make the mouth. If you wanna make the mouth, or if you want like a thing to show you, to show you how to make the mouth, um, go to my pair tutorial and I show you how to like hot glue it on. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you how to do the eyes. So I'm gonna grab the eye beads. And I'm gonna grab some string or whatever. I'm just using dental floss. Okay, I'm gonna go through the hole. And I have like really long nails and it's harder to do. I'm gonna go through the hole like this. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna grab my flower pot color, which is beige. Pull it on like that and pull it through here like this. Okay, so it's like that, and I just, I pull it on, like that, okay, and now, I'm gonna do the other one, Pull it through, grab a beige. Ugh. Shoot. So I'm just gonna go off camera so I can see this better. I'm having a really troubling time to get this in. Go in, this is not going in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I have two eyes. I'm just gonna pick a spot on the front of the pot. Oh, the mouth just fell off. Ugh. Shoot. Now I'm gonna have to like re glue it. Okay. So I'm going to pick a spot. Hmm. So I'm gonna go in here. Cause I have to like take a picture for like the thumbnail and I have to re-glue it. Okay, like that. I'll just leave it loose. Then I'm gonna skip a stitch and go into the next one.
Okay, so I'm gonna like leave it loose like that, and then do the cheeks, which are, the cheeks are just a band. And shoot, I, I, okay, I'm just gonna go into like pick a stitch near the eye, grab a pink band, like this. Don't pull it too tight, then hide it. Jeez, I like forgot how to like do this, and then I had the eye band like that geez i like really forgot how to do this okay then i'm gonna go to the other side like this hide that band And like that, okay? So... Looks like that, it's pretty cute. Then you would cut like, to make the mouth, I just cut a band and I just hot glue it on like that. But this mouth fell from this guy, but you know, um... Whatever, okay, um, don't mind that, okay. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope that your your plant in a pot or flower in a pot came out adorable. Make sure to share pictures of me if you want to share it. And on Instagram, make sure to share it with me in the description, like I said before. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone.